Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be watching the trailer for the brand new Amazon series Tampa Bays. And this series follows a group of lesbian and bisexual women in Tampa Bay. And the show comes out very soon, November 5th. This trailer came out a few days ago. I, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I'm in like a depression that the L word is over. So this is a few days late, but as I said, the series is out in just a few days. So I am going to be covering it on the channel. There has been a lot of controversy around this show already as it is extremely, extremely white and Tampa is a very diverse place. It has a large Cuban population and I actually used to live in Tampa. It's the place Miss G has <laughs> joined us. I actually lived in Tampa the longest I've lived anywhere. When I lived there, I lived there for 11 years. I went to high school, university, grad school and worked there. So it, I know a lot about Tampa and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the locations and I'm sure through the lesbian chart connection, I know <laughs> some of these people. So let's just get right into watching the trailer and we can have a little discussion at the end. So as always, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any Tampa Bay's or any other content that I cover and make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video to help the channel out and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. So let's get right into watching the trailer. Immediately, I, you know, I can already see this is not going over well because this video on, it's on YouTube, has nearly a million views and it has like 300 likes and over a hundred dislikes. It is a new show, so people aren't really connected to it yet, but the fact that it only has 300 likes, I mean, trailers don't get tons of likes, but the hundred likes, a third of the likes, yeah, that, that doesn't look good. It's 2021, it's Tampa. There's so many beautiful people. So definitely in South Tampa. The odds are my favorite. Because a lot of the time these shows will say like, oh, they're in Tampa and they're really not. They're in like St. Pete or Clearwater or something, but they're definitely in South Tampa, which is exactly where I used to live. Are you guys under girls or are you guys? I'm straight. So like not even a little curious. <laughs> they look like they're at my old university there. Not that I know of. <laughs> The lesbian scene in Tampa. It's definitely close knit. Everybody knows. Isn't everybody. it everywhere? Everybody. Everybody's dated everybody. Softball lesbian cliche. We're best friends together 24 7. Hey. Everybody has different backgrounds. These people are really young. Like, way younger than I thought they were gonna be. It's definitely an honor to be able to talk about our heritage. Cheers. My mom says you have to finish everything on your plate. Everybody has different personalities. Just a flirtatious person. We're just fun. Yeah, like they, their closets are like filled with, they've got Louis Vuitton and stuff there. I, I'm very interested to see what the whole situation is. Like, do these people work? I'm getting the impression that they're parents probably fund their lifestyle because a lot of the people I went to school with like even though after university which I, I think these people are probably either in university or they've just left and a lot of people have a job but their parents will like pay all their bills and like buy them a house and pay them rent and then their work money is like you know their going on vacation and like buying Louis Vuitton money. So yeah, I'll be really interested to see what's going on there because when you do that with your show, you make the people totally unrelatable. So it, if they're not that excessive wealthy, like those Kardashian people and, and the housewife people, then 
I don't know, it's it's hard. You either need to be like excessively wealthy or it needs to be relatable. And this seems to be neither. Some people just don't get along. There's obviously tension. Tension. There's like I wonder if this was filmed before the pandemic. It definitely seems like it's during some pride which tampa only has like its seventh pride parade this year because there used to be a law that you couldn't have pride like the actual tampa pride used to have to be in saint pete unspoken battle a culture of who's the cutest couple if you are the it couple you just are i know we're not looking for any drama you will never that's kind of a like the it couple i mean sounds like i don't know it, it just either it's super super cringe or like they're 18. be married because you can't keep a girl for five okay, seconds right. you're a snake and i don't trust anything you say Haley's dead to me they're an it's e-board not there always an easy when i came out my parents weren't okay with it i can't imagine my life without you are they gonna accept me are they gonna still love me your blood family isn't always your family. Sometimes you can have a chosen family. Y'all bitches ready? Let's go crazy! It's kind of like the whole L word. You come at them, I have a problem. Our friendship is everything to me. I love you guys! I signed us up to do a yeah, nude okay. painting. You want me to have my She's really pretty. On you? My I'm not face. that type of lesbian. I Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God, Jesus fucking Christ, really. Okay. What the fuck was this? I... This is, this is not good, guys. Um, it seems as though it's a lot of like fighting and there's gonna be I feel like a lot of drinks thrown at each other and hitting each other and fighting over girls and things it's yeah uh the the, the thing about Tampa is it it like a lot of the wealthy people in South Tampa are quite conservative like I went to high school there was 86 of us I think there was about 12 of us who ended up being lesbians and I, I've mentioned this on the channel before. I went to high school with Kaylee McEnany, who's the former US press secretary. And that's like who lives in South Tampa, it, like exactly like Kaylee McEnany. And when I moved to Tampa was actually, I'm gonna age myself here, when the bush Kerry election was going on. And myself, my best friend and my girlfriend, we were juniors. We were the only people in our class that were liberals and everyone else was that and I mean some of those people now are liberals but obviously like then they were in conservative households and you know so the things that go bang because we're on YouTube we can't say certain things and you know her saying like oh my parents didn't accept me I feel like it's it's gonna be maybe some angles like that the people are really young, like way, way, way younger than I thought they were going to be. After watching this trailer, I'm less excited than I was before. I mean, I wouldn't say I was excited, but I was thinking, ah, oh, something I can cover on the channel. But now I'm kind of like, oh, they're so young. Like, I feel like I'm not going to be able to relate to them at all. So I'm hoping that this is like super, super cringe and just silly and we can have a laugh and have some jokes and stuff about it because if it's just really bad, then... I mean, I'm not a huge reality TV person. I, I really like 90 Day Fiance because it's just like ridiculous that I hope that that's the angle this goes with, but who knows, who knows? I, I mean, everybody seems very beautiful, but again, they're super young, so I don't know. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Like, do you think this is gonna be a hot mess? Because <laughs> I definitely think so. 
and any other thoughts you have let me know down in the comment section make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any content and make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and to support the channel make sure to follow me on all of the social medias check out my patreon and my merch store and all of the information for those things will be down in the description box. Thank you as always so much for watching and as always make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!